Hi, my name is Stephen. Welcome to WP Lifestyle. If you are new here, this is WooCommerce series episode number three. If you haven't watched the last two episodes yet, I'll leave the link in the description box below, or you can just click on the channel and find the WooCommerce playlist. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can transform your WooCommerce single product page from this to this using the Divi theme. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this using the Divi theme. If you're using Elementor or if you're using Breezy, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a video showing you how you can do this using either of those page builders. So the first thing you need to do is log into your dashboard. So right here, you can see that I have logged into my dashboard right here. If I go back to this page and refresh it, you can see what my single product page looked like right now. But we're going to go ahead and transform this to this one right here, okay? So the first thing we need to do is to go to dashboard right here and we go to the DV section over here and we click on Team Builder. So we want to use the Team Builder to customize this single product page. So from here, you can see the one I created already. So we're going to go ahead and create a new one from scratch. So click on Add New Template. Okay, and then we're going to make this for all products. Okay, we're going to select all products here and then grade the template. And here you can see that it created a global header. We don't want that. We want to create a custom body. So I'm going to delete this and create a custom body for this specific template. So I'm going to click on add new body and we're going to grade this from scratch. So from here, click on build from scratch. And from here, right now, what we want to do, if you go over here, you can see that we have two columns over here. So we want to select these two columns first because we want this to be smaller than this. So we're going to select this column here. I'm going to select this one. And then right here, I want to add WooCommerce product title. So that will be the Woo breadcrumbs like this. Okay, now you can see that we have the breadcrumb over here. And then the next thing I want to add is the wool product image. So wool images, I'm going to click on this. And now you can see that we have it over here. So before we go ahead and start customizing this, I want to give this whole section a background color. So I'm going to click on the section and click on background. I'm going to give it black color and I'm going to reduce the opacity like this, something like this. And then I'm going to click on the row and then I'm going to give the row a background color as well. And then I'm going to give this one white like this. And then I'm going to go into the design tab. I'm going to go to spacing and then I'm going to give this pattern on all sides. So I'm going to put 25 here and link it and see we have 25 on the top and at the bottom. I'm going to give 25 on the side as well link this as well so it's going to look exactly like this okay so if you go back over here on our sample page you can see we have something similar over here and now we have these two things over here so here i also want to add the wool gallery i'm going to add the wool gallery over here like this i'm going to add that here but we don't really have any product in the gallery so we're not going to see anything here right now so we're going to leave it like that and then over here i'm going to go ahead and customize the title so i'm going to change the color of the text i'm going to go to design type i'm going to click on text and i'm going to change the color to uh, one of these colors here so go ahead and use your brand color if you have your brand color already you don't have to use the color that i'm using right here and i'm going to change the size to maybe 20 and then if you want to make it all caps, you can do that as well from here. But I want to leave it like this. And then I'm going to change the font weight to bold like this. And now that we have that, the next thing I need to add here is the wool card notice. This one right here. So we're going to add this over here. Just like we have here, you can see. And then we're going to go ahead and customize that. So I'm going to give it black background. Let's go to background over here and change the color to black like this and i'm going to click on this pencil icon over here and then i'm going to click on custom button style and i'm going to give the button test white and then i'm going to give the background this color right here like this the next thing we need to add is the the product title 
And then I'm going to search for wool product title right here. So wool title, we're going to select that. This is our product title. And then here is going to ask you which product just said this product is fine. Okay, so this is dynamic content is going to pull the name of this particular product. I'm going to change the color to this one right here. And then I'm going to reduce the size to 20. And then I'm going to increase the font width to bold like this. And then the next thing I need to add here is I'm going to add a divider. Okay, so we have the divider. I'm going to change the color to black. And then I'm going to and then I'm going to increase the size like this. Maybe a little bit smaller like this, like two. And then I'm going to reduce the width. Like this, I'm going, and then I'm going to scroll down to spacing. And I'm going to give this negative margin like this. 20 is fine. So we have the line to 24% width. And uh, weight is two pixels. Okay, so the next thing we need to add now, if you go over here, is the price. Okay, so we're going to select the wool price. Scroll down, we find the wool price over here. You can see that we have it here, and I don't want it on top of the divider. So I'm going to move that in a sec. I'm going to change the color to black. I'm going to drag this one up. And then the next thing we need to add is the wood description. So over here is the wood description. And you can see here it's going to ask you to choose the description that you want to display. So we have the short description and the long description. So I'm going to leave it on short description over here. And then the next thing we need to add here is the wool add to cart button. Okay, so we're going to add this add to cart here. And you can see. We can click on any of these pencils to change the color. So we can increase this one to maybe 20. And then if you want to change the color to black, you can do that or you can change this to any color that you want. I'm going to leave it on black for now. And then I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to change this to black as well. And then I'm going to click on the button. I'm going to change the button to the same style that we have here so i'm going to use custom style for the button i'm going to change the text to white and i'm going to select the background color like this and then the next thing we need to add here is the wool meta description okay so the meta i'm going to click on that and this is going to show the category you can go ahead and change the color to whichever color that you want you can change this to this color if you want but i'm going to leave it on black like this and then if you go over here, you can see that the next thing we have here is a long description with a tab, including additional information like weight, dimension, or the reviews. So you can see here, so this is called tabs. So we're going to go over here and add the wood tab. But the problem is if we add that here, for example, if we say wood tabs, for example, where is it? Right here, if we add that here, it's going to just show over here on inside this column but we want that all the way to the end so what we need to do here is to add a new column over here so we're going to add a new column by clicking on this green button right here and then we can select this one column over here and now we can select the we can actually drag this one into here like this now you can see that we have it so what we can go and do now is to customize it you can click on these wood tabs and then we can click on this pencil over here and we can change the tab color to whatever we want you can change this like this and then you can change this ones to black like this and then if you scroll down here you can change the color to white the color to white as well and then if you go back over here you can see that we have the related products over here so let's go over here and we're going to add wool related products. Okay, so we're going to scroll down here and we're going to select wool related products. And you can see here, 
there are no product is showing i'm going to select three over here and that is going to load the product for us here you can see now that we have the product here we can go ahead and click on this to customize this i'm going to change this to this color right here and i'm going to make it a little bit bold i'm going to reduce the size to 20. i'm going to click this one and change it to maybe green or maybe dark green a little bit darker like this and then i'm going to center it to the middle like this and then i can increase the size if i want and then i'm going to do the same with the title over here i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to make this a little bit bold and i'll make it smaller as well to 20 like that and then i'm going to center it to the middle and i'm going to do the same thing here center this to the middle i'm going to make the rise a little bit bold then i will increase the size to 16 and change the color to black like this so now you can see that we have that and then maybe i'll add a little bit box shadow to this one i'll scroll down and in click on the box shadow we have the shadow like this on the product and then i will reduce the shadow a little bit to maybe minus 10 i'll reduce the strength to minus 10. so now you can see that we've customized this just the way you want it you can go ahead and do additional customization as well but for now let's save this and go back and see what this looks like so if we go back right now like this and then we click on save changes and now if we go back here to this one right here and refresh the page now you can see that we have a really nice simple product page right here so one last thing we need to do is to go back inside the team builder and change this badge like the cell badge that we have here you can see that the color doesn't match the design that we have here if you go back to this one that i have over here you can see that I, the color actually match what we have here so let's go back and do that as well so let's go back here and click on this pencil and what we need to do now is to click on the product here and then we can go to design and sales badge here and then i want to change the cell badge color to this color over here and then i want to change the text color to white and then i'll scroll down here i want to do the same with this products here i'm going to go to design scroll down to cell badge and then i'm going to change the badge color to this i'm going to change the text color to white and then i'm going to click on save over here now if i close this save this and go back to this page right here and refresh it now you can see that everything is looking pretty good if you want me to make the same video using a different page builder like elementor or breezy let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and also click on the notification bell so you get notified when next i upload a video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode